What's up, Wuthering Waves Warrior? It's your favorite traveler, Rex Luminae here. And today, I'm gonna cover the new event and also uncover some new leak that's gonna make you go, wow. And in today's video, I want to talk about some spicy details for you guys. We're talking about new character. We're gonna have Shang Li Yao soon, September 7, 10 a.m. My popularity point is already on the freaking roof and I'm really excited to have him. We are just a couple days from receiving Shang Li Yao for free. And we're also gonna talk about a new leaks of 1.3, a brand new region. And wait for it. There's a rumor after 1.4 is the game gonna jump straight up to 2.0, which is kind of insane. Let's look into the new event first. What event is this? Do Echo Dream of Electric Sheep. All right, what kind of things do we have? Point reward. So we got some uh, asteroid. Some more asteroid. Okay. Yeah. Technically, asteroid premium Echo XP items. So we're gonna need a lot of that. Echo like level up material. It's really hard to, you know, farm throughout the day. We're just gonna do this event real quick and see how it's gonna go. Got back from work and I'm just really tired, but I feel like I need to let you guys know about these update new leaks. Okay, I summon it so that it can kind of like uh, acting as a turret. Kind of funny. I can summon like so many of them at the same time. <laughs> My gosh, this is hilarious. All right, that is fine. Easy fix. This is easy. I, I'm pretty sure it's just easy in the beginning. What do I have? You're basically playing a bunch of like turret down. Material used for resonator ascension. Okay. First up, we have the shore keeper. And no, she doesn't keep your sock safe at the beach. This lady is a five star resonator from a mysterious black shore. Rumi has as she got two forms. Kind of like your favorite shaped lifter from, you know, the other game that you always know, which is Ganshin in Dream Pack. Yep. She got butterfly. She got star and possibly she got a big old butterfly net for smacking enemy okay maybe not but her spectral attribute and potential healing or dps skill make her someone you don't want to mess with plus she might be rocking a rectifier as a weapon sound kind of rectifying right and then there's yuhu no that's not a yogurt dream it's confusing me too just hold on she's our new four star resonator from Huing Long. she got this frosty charm literally and she got the frozen star hanging from her chest so glacial attribute it is expect her to pack some serious punch with close and long range attack i'm thinking she's gonna be a sub dps perfect for when you need a little extra muscle now let's talk about the new region the black shores and no it's not the name of the pirate movie it's actually a new region we will get to explore this region in 1.3 and this is tied to shore keeper backstory so expect a lot of dark and moody vibe so there's also a new story to the shores ends i'm just reading information from the internet why do i have to be so worried i feel like this gonna be this gosh so hard i'm so tired let's be honest the shore keeper the black shore sounds like we're gonna go on a field trip we're going to a shore there gotta be new enemies a new boss and who knows what cool games have in their sleeve maybe like you know a new way for you to destroy your wallet with rng jesus a lot of people already cover 1.3 leaks and i'm just one of them before i come to i need to find new things to to read all right so for the banner of 1.3 it's technically pretty simple you're gonna have obviously the shore keeper and actually there's gonna be two ba banners i think there's a real that they're gonna change it they gonna actually do two banner at the same time very soon so instead of just you know jg they're gonna be an extra banner after that rerun of someone our favorite uh, game everybody loves genshin impact new you know so phase one obviously shore keeper phase two could be jiyeon or the spear guy i don't i don't remember his name i wasn't a thing back then but it's all leaks for now but i'm sure it's gonna be a five star character <laughs> now there is also a big rumor that after 1.4 the game gonna keep skip straight up from you know to 1.4 2.0 why english is so hard today that's like you skip five birthdays 
in a row and go straight to your midlife crisis so don't worry you will make it so you can expect this really big update at the end of december or early january probably i would say sometime in december so you when you have on your december break on your winter break you have content for you to keep snapping on and play if they don't do that in december i would have a big question mark like do you even know how to market do you even know how to do marketing now i wanted to talk about the new region shorekeeper so i've been seeing decent amount of leak that like it will be up in the air which is kind of dope but at the same time i'm scared of high like literally I, I have a thing with high like even if i'm playing the game and if i even i'm watching it my stomach feels super tingling so i hope they're gonna do something about it like a safety you know so you don't just fail off or something like that because like they don't really think about people get up high and i also saw there's gonna be like for some reason three region is that even make sense because like there will be the black shores and then the event map and then there's a dungeon so basically there's gonna be three area in one update which is huge like there's no more there's nothing to do in the game anymore i'm coming in do some event use my what is it called what is this thing called way play just call it rest resin for short and then that is pretty much it i don't really have any other things to do but i feel like this gonna give us some more gameplay hours just because we have a lot more chests a lot more puzzle and what they really need to do is like we need more side quests like we need a lot more side quests like there is no more side quests like i don't understand this place i only explore for 63 percent and i have used all of my freaking like the drone to explore like all the un unopened chests and everything and i literally found them all but it's still 63 three percent what do i miss i just don't understand now for the shore keeper she has some fancy move right so basically what she does is that like she can turn herself into a butterfly that sounds kind of nice because like for travel wise i feel like they trying to compete with genshin because like M mulani just released and she can have like a little shard as a surfboard that's what i think that they trying to do but at the same time right now genshin is packed with content like i couldn't even imagine i just get back to genshin because of 5.0 so if they really wanted to compete with genshin which both games are nice like Wuthering Wave combat is excellent, don't get me wrong, but like the content, they really need to think of a way that they can actually compete with such like a powerhouse. Because Genshin, if they really want to, they can dominate literally Wooden Wave in just one update. I'm, I'm being serious. That 5.0 from Genshin compared to Wooden Wave is kind of like a really slap in the face. Like, this is how much content we're pushing out. What can you provide? A new map. That just doesn't make sense. Like, right now, we need a lot more things to do in the game. Not just the event. Like, the area we need to discover. This has been such a while. And don't get me wrong, I don't, I don't hate neither game. But I feel like since I enjoy watering waves more, I wanted it to be success. So that like we have more things to do. Because this is technically it. I came in, I do this, and that's it and don't get me wrong they have been doing really nice things to the game they have been i have to show it to you guys but when your way play is fully stacked there's also extra thing uh, see i have 240 i don't have a lot of time to play but like when i have the time to play i really wanted to you know explore do quests or something it takes such a long time i'm not even kidding to level up your union xp like it's ridiculously long and the fact that you can can level up your character to level 90 as union level no in genshin in world level 55 compared to watering wave is level 60 is a lot more right now i have to find struggling eight more union level in order for me to even get my character to level 90 now i also want to talk a little bit about the echo issue is that like there are so, i have so so much echo like at the point that i don't even want to use the data bank because i have so much like there is no use for it like there must be something they need to do with all of these oh i found a lucky day i guess they need to do something with these extra echo or we can s use them to exchange for money or something there are so much and i'm not fixing to to keep all of them and plus even if you have so 
much. The difference in Genshin is that if you go farm artifact, you can use that artifact to level up. We can farm Echo all day. We can get it fully maxed out. But the problem is we cannot level it up. So what's the point of getting more Echoes if you can't leveling it up? That That is something I have seen a lot of players comment down on YouTube videos, on their social media, and they need to put a chain into that. Now, I would give this game a little suggestion. If for some reason, right, they boot, I keep telling Genshin to do the same. Whoever do, gonna do this first, gonna be the bomb. All right, you see the map. You you know like how how hard things is, hardcore things is, right? And there's technically, you don't do much. Like you want to play the game, you don't do much. There's no reason to play the game. You gotta go in, fight this guy four times, boom, that's it. But what if they just create like a special weapon? Like once or twice a week for like six or seven weeks to get one weapon. One special weapon that is pretty decent, really, really strong, and you can customize a weapon the way that you want. Right, so there's so many type of weapon. I keep saying 4.5 star, even though like it just doesn't make sense, but it does make sense from a perspective of playing so much RBG game. I put this out: so much weapon that you can choose from, sword, and then like gauntlet, and then rectifier, and then gun, and then like role play. It's gonna take people like six seven weeks to get one weapon it's fine like give them the thrill to you know grind the game the more they play the game the more they're gonna spend on the game and also i guess i will make this on a different video but in 1.4 i feel like something major gonna happen i just heard some rumor that like you'll be able to change for example change your traveler your resonator gender so if you choose the girl in the beginning right you can change it to a guy but technically everybody just want to change it from from the guy to the girl because just look at this everybody just wants her, you know so that's gonna be a little update i just heard rumor about it i have to do research on it and i feel like that would be fun one thing why can they do it it's just like just but just to help the content creator out like can they just please have a setting so that we can hide a ui so that we can make cinematic like sh shots you know that would be really great like that's that would be really freaking great why can they do that because now like you can see everything on the screen and if i want to make things look nice the way that i want it to be like it's gonna be a third party involved so might as well just hide the ui but that is pretty much i wanted to talk about in the leaks the event and my talk drop a like subscribe share this video with your gym friends don't skip leg day you know it's important but most importantly save that money spend responsibly because you save the more you save the more you roll okay trust me just trust me now if that is yao is what you like then go all out just go all out that's pretty much it bye bye